Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Grimahim and today I'm bringing you part 69 of Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. So in the last episode, we came back to the Agate Circus and fought CL for the Suspension Badge. And we also got the TM for Acrobatics. So there is the Suspension Badge uh, down below. That looks pretty nice actually, I quite like that one. Um, how much fucking money do I have? Oh god. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, in this episode, we're going to go back to Reborn City. No fucking idea what I've got to do next, but if I go to the Grand Hall, they'll probably tell me. Anyway, I also thought about it, like, while I was, um, you know, sorting out who learns fly and whatnot. And teaching acrobatics to Sceptile is actually pretty good. Because, um, not only is it a flying move, which I don't have yet, but on top of that... Unburden. It activates when I lose my item. And Acrobatics gets double base power when he's not holding an item. So that Acrobatics and Unburd uh, Unburden paired up are pretty good. Okay, so I'm on episode 16 now, I think. It's been a while. During the previous development cycle, two new applications were retrospectively added to the Pokegear. Normally these, these would be obtained early in the story, but it's a little late for that now. These new apps display useful data on field effects and pulse variants based on items you may be given or find in the overworld. As this is not an E16 native save file, all such items will be automatically added for you. Alright, so I just got the pulse decks and the pulse readouts. Cool. And the field notes app. Wait, did I just get all... Oh, I just got given all of them. Okay. Okay, that was weird. The music just messed up there. But yeah, it should be in the poke again. Now, here we go. Pulse decks. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know about most of these, actually. I've not seen a Pulse Garbador. I've seen Avalog, I've seen Swallot, Muck, Hammer Ups, Abra. Okay, there's plenty of these I've not seen, apparently. Uh, what about Field Notes? What are these? Oh, right, Electric, Grassy, Misty Terrain. Alright, this is just tells us all about the fields, it seems like. So if I, uh... I can look at these any time I like if I want to know about them. Okay, that's very valuable. It also seems like I've only just begun episode 16. I seriously thought episode 13 was when we actually saved the Maria from, go from the waterfall, honestly. So uh, I'm quite surprised that this is the beginning of episode 16 already, to be completely honest. But whatever, I guess. Let's, uh... I have Hoot Hoot with flying now, so let's fly back to Reborn City, shall we? This is Grand Hall, so let's go here first. Let's go, my friend. Oh, wow. The music's changed as well. Oh, wow, this is nice. Look at this place. Hey, trainer, we fought before, right? You only had one badge then, and now? Sheesh. Makes me feel a little better about getting thrashed. Oh, my. This place is so nice. What happened? <laughs> what happened to this place? Adrian. Bro, are you good? Oh, wow. Oh my, oh, and the wild Pokemon are high level as well for some reason. Ugh, get out of here. <laughs> but wow, this place looks so nice now. Oh man, I'm, this makes me happy. I knew the place did get a bit of a revamp because I saw an image on the website, but I didn't realise it was to this fucking extent. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Before, I would have called myself crazy if I'd said that this place could actually be pretty, and look at it now. People watching's always better with a clean backdrop. Maybe it's about time for me to stop watching and start doing. In fact, see ya. Alright, bye then. <laughs> oh, wow, this is such a nice place. Truly, I'm tired of moving around all the time. This city has become a fine place for me to serve out my days. I will have no regrets. Yeah, this place is so nice now. Oh, man. This is so good. This is so good. Ah. Uh, wow. Wow. This is truly incredible. Oh man, 
I, I honestly don't have any words to say about this. I'm just dumbfounded. It's like, I'm so used to that ugly city. And now we've got this beauty right here. And the music's nice too. It's just, wow. Ah, it's you. You were that really strong trainer who want me before to save that Pokemon, right? Man, I'm kind of glad you did. Not gonna lie. To tell the truth, I wasn't really comfortable with what they were doing. But I didn't have the confidence to stand up to them before. Just because you can't afford four Pokeballs doesn't mean you should just bully Pokemon into doing whatever you want. I tried to get them to realize that afterwards, but they got pissed and stopped hanging out with me. Can't say I miss them. Good on you, man. Okay, well, the Grand... It seems the Opal Ward is uh, all rainbowy, but the other wards don't seem to be. You should have seen this place before the water cleared up. We'd clean up the walls and then they'd just be grimy again the next day. What a nightmare. I'm thankful it pulled together. Yeah, man, this is great. Hey, wow. Like, you would have never believed it how everyone came together to make this place great. It's totally changed my whole outlook on people. Yeah, man. Everyone in this city was a shithole. Oh, no, this city was a shithole and everyone in it was an arsehole. That's what I meant, but, like, same thing. <laughs> well, it's so much better now. Can you hear the voices? Thank you, they command me to whisper for everything. This city is still far from the technology technological paradise I dream of, but it will do for the time being. Okay. Hey, haven't we crashed into each other before? Oh yeah, that's right. I saw you when you first got your Pokemon. Looks like you've grown quite a bit since then, but I guess this whole city has. That's not a coincidence, is it? I don't know. Could very well be, or it could be uh, a sign of things to come. You know, I'm wondering what Shades Gym looks like after this. <laughs> is that weird? Oh, wow. There's all flowers everywhere, too. So beautiful. Oh, there's an item finder responding. Okay. Is it in this bush here? Nope. Here? There it is, purple shard. Alright, let's talk to you, dude. Trainer, would you like to hear something fascinating? Sure thing. For a long time, I've been researching hidden abilities. In most regions, it's very rare that Pokemon in the wild have different abilities, but in Reborn, it's almost commonplace. I wanted to know. Why? The truth is, I still haven't found an answer. For a while, my hypothesis was that pollution and radiation from Reborn City was prompting rogue genetic mutations in Pokemon of all kinds. This renovation project provided the perfect chance to test this. After all, we've closed most of the wasteful factories and cleansed stuff our act significantly. Uh, by now, Reborn produces only a small bit more pollution than any other major city. If my theory were correct, then we should have seen a decline in the number of Pokemon with alternate abilities and coloration, but surprisingly, nothing with regards to that has changed. Even among newborn Pokemon, the difference in mutations between them and now is, uh, then and now, is statistically insignificant. Spelt wrong. So I must find a new hypothesis. Could past radiation produce lingering epi he epi epigenetic changes? Could there be some other energy source hidden near the city? Maybe it could even be the work of a legendary Pokemon, Arceus or Rayquaza, for instance. No matter the case, I will definitely find the answer one day. You do that. Man, it's so nice that everyone's positive now. Oh, man. We're nowhere near done yet, but it feels like that all my hard work playing through this game has paid off. It feels like I'm at the end, even though I'm not at the end. Man, the squad and I used to hang out here all the time when we were playing the streets. But they all got on this city betterment bullshit and ditched. Fuck that shit, bro. I'ma kick it right here my own damn stealth. Okay. Boy, howdy, I'll tell you what for. I said once this place was an oasis in a desert and I'm mighty glad that it's starting to feel like that again. Hey, haven't I seen you on the road somewhere? Can't remember, but it's good to see you again. Keep on trucking. You want to know something, buddy? I'll tell you a secret. My buddy used to keep a private aquarium. He was super guarded about it, only letting certain people through. But now that the water's clean again, he released all those Pokemon back into the lake. What's more, I managed to convince him to turn his tank into a public pool. How sweet is that? So, is that the uh, little aquarium near the beginning of the game he's on about there? Because if it is, that's kind of nice. Alright, uh, the shop apparently got a lot more shit in it. And ditched a lot of the crappy stuff too, it seems. Um, full heal, get more of these, and ultra potions. I have so much money now, I really don't think I'm meant to have this much. <laughs> 
In order to research field effects more thoroughly, it's important to have all the help we can get. By spreading the public version of our data, we're more likely to receive feedback and correction for future versions. Thank you for using the app. Okay. I ain't, though. Oh, I haven't watched TV in a while, actually. And it's just a, a fucking advert. Nice. Alright, come on, Gardevoir. Hello everyone, it's me, everyone's favourite God of War here with the latest and greatest in breaking news. Reborn City needs your help. Do you have a passion for tinkering, making things, organisation, helping others, or do you just want to make a difference in the world? Then stop by your local Grand Hall today to register with the City Reconstruction Project and find out how you can make a difference. With your help and our efforts combined, we can make Reborn the, si the shining city it was always meant to be, one brick at a time. Eh? A demonstration? What do you mean you want me to move those bricks? I'm a god of war, not a machoke. Leave that kind of work to, to the Pokemon that are designed for it. What do you mean that's offensive? Look, you're the one who wanted me to do this commercial. Oh, you're still gonna pay me anyway, right? <laughs> Interviews. Bringing you the inside scoop. I'm here today at the homestead of and gymstead of one of Reborn's most popular trainers, Miss Amaria Fiore. Or Fior, I don't know. I didn't think Fior Mansion was... I didn't think that was a, a surname. That's cool. Unfortunately, and in a surprise twist for our interview intermission, Amaria is actually not available for comment right now, seeing as she is currently setting up for battle. There's been quite a lot going on in this bubbly beauty's life, but luckily your truest friend Gossip Gardevoir is here to catch up to speed. See, after a recent accident of questionably self-inflicted causes, Miss Fior here has developed a sudden textbook case of retrograde amnesia, and as such has forgotten everything that's occurred in recent events, including things that should have been precious to her and her loved ones. Um, this is a bit, uh, personal? The battle that's taking place today is not between her and a challenger, but between her and a representative of the Reborn League, to assess if she's still able to retain her position despite her condition. Everything is on the line for Amaria today. If it proves that her battling ability went down the drain with her memory, she could find herself out of a job in a snap. Let's cut to the battlefield now and see how she's doing. Oh, there's nothing happening? Have they not started yet? What do you mean they already finished? I was still giving the intro. What kind of battle was that? Uh, oh, I... I see. Well, folks, in a turn of events that is at once altogether unsurprising yet unexpected, in the time it took me to preface the battle, Amaria has already beaten her opponent for a flawless 6 0 KO victory. Gotta hand it to the woman at the water. She sure knows how to cling onto her talent even when she loses everything else. And that, my dear viewers, is exactly proof as to why she is one of Reborn's most famous gym leaders. That's all in today's interview intermission. Until next time. Okay. So uh, we're still gonna have to fight Amaria, it seems. I'm glad about that. Young trainer. Have you gotten involved in the Reborn City Restoration Project yet? Much has been done, true, but it's still... There's, yeah, but fuck. But yet, there's still much to do. Asking people around the city how you can help may yield some fruitful results. Maybe so. Wait, is that Arme there, or is that someone else? I think that's Arme. This place is kind of a miracle lately. And you know who it's all thanks to? Adrian. Oh, it could be him, but I think it's Arme. That fellow's a peach. Hello, citizens. Restoration... Fuck... I think I read that before. The city has had to spend an unprecedented amount of money in order to patch everything back up. True, the vast majority of the work was done by volunteers who, thanks to Adrian, showed up in droves, but resources cost money and we are well into debt by now, although I think we could have been a bit more frugal in our spending. I have no qualms. One of the best ways Reborn can make money is by investing in our tourist industry. In order to do that, our city must be beautiful, and so it certainly shall be. Cool, cool. Yeah, we're, we read about that already. Right, you, I can fight you, I think, but I'm not going to yet. I think you're techie will, actually, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I, I've already read this. Wait, what? What? Oh, you've already beaten most of them. Well, then. Cool, cool. All right, um, so I'm going to save real quick before I talk to these guys. We're still finishing up some loose ends on the barrel wall repair project, so hang tight. Donations and reconstruction will be available again soon. Uh, hello there. I'm here to answer any questions you might have about the future of the Restorm thingy. Fuck. For this, we are endlessly thankful for the help of our volunteers. That's it. Would you like to hear about our upcoming plans? Okay. Here's some of the things we'll be looking at doing in the near future. First, we have some final renovations to finish up on Beryl Wall. Then we can finally prepare to reopen Grandview Station. Beryl Wall. Beryl Wall. Where is the Beryl Wall? That's where Corey's gym is, isn't it? 
So is Beryl Wall what's protecting the Tourmaline Desert then? I would guess so. After that, we have several potential short-term projects awaiting funding. We'd like to focus on rebuilding the slums area from the ground up. Our plan is to convert this area into a low-income housing district and resource centre with community gardening and job-finding resources. Second, we'll look at reinforcing underground structures and rebuilding an efficient intercity subway system. Finally, we'll be restarting the Reborn Pokemon Reintroduction Project with a brand new, fully furnished facility on Azorin Island. If you wish to donate to the city restoration, please talk to the construction manager. Maybe that's why I'm getting so much money, because I can actually donate. Hmm. Oh, Vero. So Julia and Florinia found you after all. I'm glad, and your timing is perfect. One second, please. Sorry, as I was about to say, please inform Bennett that we accept. He certainly did famously during the trial battle, but something feels weird about the situation. Maybe I'm just hung up on Laura's resignation. So Bennett is part of the Elite Four now. But the letter she sent was handwritten, signed, and unquestionably hurt. Wait. Wait a minute. Laura said she was fired. Oh, L. L did this. Well, whatever. He can take care of the rest for me, right? Did you get his types? Yes, I'll register and notify him. Thank you. Alright, oh no, I really wish I could tell her right now. Oh my god, please tell me my character's gonna tell her Laura thought she was fired. I, I want to solve this. Alright, I've got a couple of other things to take care of, but I could use your help. Most important thing is, well, before I explain, I should bring everyone here. This might take all of us. Adrian, Victoria, and DJ Arclight are taking care of various things around the city. I'm not exactly sure where they are right now, but you know them, right? You can probably guess where to start. Just tell them to come back here when you find them. Okay, well, Arclight's probably in his club. Um, Adrian's probably by his gym. And I saw Victoria by the waterfall. Or the Cascade, whatever. So I'm going to check the Cascade first. Since that's right near Arclight's club anyway. Oh, this gym looks... A, uh, this bridge looks a lot nicer as well. You know what's kept the city afloat this whole time? That's right, electromagnetism. Okay, don't care. I've hoped for change and it gets better every day. And now uh, nothing is the same. Okay. Oh, even even the music in all the other wards has changed. Bonjour, my beautiful friend. I have heard rumours that you have been behind many of the city's strides, Non. We thank you for your service. Cool. Hail, trainer. City Watch is on the lookout for trouble. If you see anything suspicious, please report. Understood. You're the move, Dolly. Alright. Yeah, fuck you. Don't need you. Uh, this was the guy wo who wanted a Pokemon. I'm looking for a strange Pokemon. Yeah, you wanted the Sunken. But I'm not giving it to you. Because I still do not have one. No, I do know you can find Wild Sunflora. Gosh, I kind of miss the lazy days of our old city. Now everyone's all business that and community this. Oh, there's Arclight over there. Everyone is in a fuss about this city restoration business. But isn't all there is to do manual labour work? If there was something equal to my intellectual abilities, I would surely pitch in. In order to stop people from getting lost or hurt in the caverns below, city ordinance has mandated restricted access to the area. As such, all general civilians are asked to turn back. You, however, may go right ahead. I see, so I'm assuming this means this, this lets me go under the grand stairway again, right? What is this? I can't read it. Yeah, I can still under the grand, uh, go under the grand stairway. That's cool. Alright, let's go. Let me out. Thanks, dude. Um, I can go in here too, and the doors are just wide open. Oh man, even this place looks brighter. It doesn't seem like I can go this way anymore though, which makes complete sense really. Alright, well Arclight's over here, so I'm going to go talk to him first, I think. Is there anyone here? Nope. Okay, Victoria's not here, so I'm going to go talk to Ark. They should have fixed the wards so that I can go into the Obsidia ward from here now, right? Uh, but then Nakra Gang... Uh, fuck it, whatever. Oh, they've connected it. They've... They've connected the ward. Ah, oh, this is nice. They connected the ward. And it looks so good. Wait, have they... F have they fixed the rail net? Have they fixed the rail net? Okay, it doesn't seem like the rail net's been fixed yet, but I guess that would be expecting a little much, really. Man, could you imagine if the rail net was all fixed, though? Oh, my lord. That would be so nice. Alright. 
Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go talk to Ark for now. I'll talk to everyone in the Obsidian Ward in my own time. I'll probably record it just in case I get something, but I'll probably just cut all of it out. Well, let's just go talk to Ark first. Actually, let's check on the Magma Gang. Do they say anything new? Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently, this alley is blocked off now, so I guess the Magma Gang don't even hang in here anymore. <coughs> Scum tank. Ooh. Get out of the way. What are you doing in my way? Leave. Actually, can I find anything in here? Oh, I can. Okay. Where is it? There? Oh, it's a dusk ball in a trash can. Nice. And there's something else. Max Elixir. Cool, cool. I guess it doesn't hurt to check uh, check out these places now that uh, they're new to us again, basically. There's Ark. Hey, Ark. Yo, Vero, right? Arme sent you to get me? Right, I think I've got a pretty good idea of what this is about. I ended up getting pretty involved in the city's business after Adrian asked me to throw a tag out for Zem on the broadcasts. We were able to recruit a lot of volunteers that way, though some of them just wanted to meet me. That was a mess. Uh, anyway, I recently got a call-in tip from a listener about... Well, it seems like it's Team Meteor again. Big shock, I know. Oh, fuck, I missed that. Or right, I'll go ahead and clear the blah, blah. Tell Army over that I'll be waiting at the meeting place. Alright, well, the meeting place is supposed to be by Army, so I don't know why you're telling me to go meet her elsewhere, but... Oh, what is this? This is new. Welcome to the Spice. Feel free to have a seat. We're also now accepting applications. Feel free to grab one from the other counter. Okay, that... Alright. Here's clean water and smooth sailing. Cheers. Howdy, train. I've got a quick tip for you. You're familiar with those moves, forest cursed and trick or treat, rightly? <laughs> what happened to that guy? Call it because of the energy and whatnot, but they've got a slightly different effect here in Reborn. Other places, those moves had a third type fit, but in Reborn, they'll just change the Pokemon's type outright. If you get pegged with one of them, keep that in mind. Oh, it changes their type completely. Okay. Bro, I've been doing research on these weird rocks, right? So, like, here, there's these rocks, bro, and they can make Pokemon moves last longer. Like, bro, okay, the weather rocks. Trick room, sweet. Field effects, real. Oh, no, amplified rock. Gravity, dude. The fuck kind of rocks affect gravity, bro? I'm telling you, this shit is dope. Yeah, that's the amplified rocks that do that. I'll drink to the city of Reborn. Hit me up with another cold one. Care for a refreshing drink? Oh, we can buy a lot of these. Let's get a bunch. Let's just get 50 of everything. <laughs> I have all the money in the world now. Nah. There we go. <laughs> Man. Hello, customer. Please have a seat. We are in troubled. We are in troubled. But we will be giving you the best service we are to have available. Oh, you're not here to do the eating now? Then maybe I can ask something of you. You look, our delivering boy is doing the sickness today, and so we are lowering supplies. If you, if you are having time, I would be much obliging for you to collect some grocery items for us. You can do the talking to my assistant chef for the full list of items to recovering. If you, can do this, if you can do this thing for us, we'll give you a sharing of the food on the house. Okay, cool, cool. You're our standing courier. There are currently 12 items left to be gathered for us. Honey, tiny mushroom, farm mushroom, slowpoke tail, white herb, stick, sweetheart, moon milk, energy root, custard berry, whipped dream, shoal salt. Okay, I've got some of those. Oh, I gave him the stick. And the custard berry. And the shell salt. Wait a minute, I had more than that. I had honey. I swear I had honey. Well, whatever. I guess I got a bunch of stuff. Okay, what's this uh, application thing? A stack of job applications for the spice. It's on the counter. Sure thing. I don't really know what this is going to do for me, but... Uh... Okay, well, I just uh, got one. Okay, how do I apply exactly? Okay, maybe I just grabbed it for someone else. Yowza! After a tough day out cleaning up the lake, nothing is the spot quite like some spicy food. Cool, cool. <coughs> nothing. Alright, uh, I haven't been here yet. I hear Sweet Co's hiring. They really are on the up and up here, huh? Maybe I should apply. Okay, well, this guy wants to apply, so maybe I should get a thing for him. You wouldn't guess it, but I have a college degree. But no one wanted to hire me because I'm too overqualified. Hopefully this place will be different. We had all employment requests here. If you're interested in working one of the Sweet Co's lovely retail ratings, please take an application or fill out one online. Give me that. 
Welcome to Sylph Co. Proud to offer a wide variety of both luxury and everyday needs. All those building handles administrative work only. Please check out our local stores located on Main Street or on 3rd and Hydrangea in the Lapidus Ward. Okay. So the applications are back here, huh? I guess I'll give it a try. Working in a candy store would be rad. Greetings. Uh, quality service. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't mean shit. You're looking to apply too? Some of these questions seem silly to me. Yes, I'm an honest person. Uh, I actually wasn't asking you. That's one of the questions on the form. But a dishonest person's always just going to lie, right? So what's the point? That is very true. Alright. Yeah, it, I have I have a thing for you. But I guess you don't want it. This is Ureyu, isn't it? Or is this Sylphco? I think it's Sylph. Yep. Yeah, upper levels are unavailable. The Sylphsco will be available soon. Purple, we are hiring for many positions. If you're interested in joining a corporation, please take one. Alright, I'll get this too. I don't know what all these are going to do for me exactly, but I may as well get them. I'm done with finals, but now I don't know what to do with myself. School always seems so boring and forced, but breaks always feel so empty. It's like out of the frying pan and into the void of meaningless existence. I cannot say I relate. Alright, you wanted a cute mon, right? Yeah, okay. Uh... No. Alright, did you say something else? Ever since the water and smog in the air cleared, we've been seeing cooler temperatures throughout the city. Until recently, I couldn't even remember the last time it snowed here. Okay, okay. So who's in here, though? The other one I found my boyfriend. Can't thank you enough. Thanks again. Um, true, bright skies and starry eyes make a city seem both bright and alive. But make no mistake, the end is yet to come. Oh, wow, you are so fucking... Uh. <laughs> Alright, I don't need to go in there. Alright, there's all people on the streets. I got so carried away shopping, but I still want to get more. Could you hold these bags for me? No. There's been so much to do lately. Commerce is really kicking up since the changes started coming. and got to play the market to make a killing. There's never been a better time for me to kickstart my career. If I get into real estate doing all this development, I bet I'll sort in the top in no time. This looks really fucking nice. Oh my lord. I think there's something in that rock. Hey, bitch, move! Get out of the way. Thank you. Alright, let's talk to these dudes. They say we still want a revolution, but the class system isn't going nowhere. There's no bad guy to beat up for that one, just the world. You in? Nope. Lower class citizens deserve peace too. Who wants to live in a tar smelling factory all day? The administrative office will write it off in terms of priorities, but don't believe their lies. The people in charge do not care about you, the government doesn't care. Don't care. You see all this construction done looking tight, but do they find time to get to the slums? No. Do they find time for the little people? Probably not. Hell no. Why do you care? Hello, sweetie. Has your home already been renovated? If not, just tell one of the construction leaders. Cool. Not gonna though. Oh, the craftsmanship on these balls is somewhat cheap. Oh, uh, don't, don't. Oh, oh. Oh, I missed that. Now oh, it. Well, I didn't read what he was saying, but I I saw corrupted Pokeball, so it seems that this corrupted Pokeball I picked up was for this guy. See this crack? It was probably dropped from a long way up or something. That doesn't matter. The problem is if some debris gets through the exterior in the circuits, and it can distort the electric transmission, and then this happens. It might not be impossible to fix, but you're honestly better off just buying another ball. You're determined to fix this ball? It probably won't be usable no matter what. There is the chance that a Pokemon was inside at one point, but, well... When inside Pokeballs, I forced data Pokemon's converted to digital format, meaning the Pokemon still can corrupt as well. Whatever this originally was before is probably missing though now. Can't be taught or it can't be caught or tamed, so there's no point to that. Yeah, fix it. I see. I have an old diagnostic kit with me. Let me see if I can detect any lingering data. Already at 96%. But well, let's see what we can use. Magnet powder. That'll be small enough to slip inside the crack. Can reboot the internal circuitry. You might also erase it. Don't have a better option given the conditions. You brought magnet powder, I see. Well, I can't say I don't admire your commitment, but it's probably pointless. 98%. Are you prepared to defeat the missing no inside? It would be problematic to let it free. Yes. Alright, if you're sure, let's do it this way. Magnet powder is in. It's going to juggle the circuits a bit, and with any luck, there'll be a second where the ball forgets that it's broken. Either that or the data will be deleted entirely. So here we go. 99. We're probably too late anyway. There it is. Oh, it was a Rolls. Ruh? Huh? The Pokemon survived? But there's less than a 1% chance that it could have. Ruh? Hmm, this Rolls must be very brave to hang on through the corruption. 
Ralts are known to be very loyal Pokemon, so perhaps it had faith that his trainer would release it before it expired. But if the corruption had reached 100%, Ralts definitely would have been deleted. It seems we were just in time, and I doubted your judgement. My error entirely. Apologies. There's no telling what became of its previous trainer, and even this ball is unusable. I think it's safe to say Ralts belongs to you now. Alright, gimme Ralts. I was not expecting that, I will not admit. Or I will admit, even. Alright, net balls. Let's just let's just grab some. 20, 20, 50, 50, heal ball. I don't really need these. I'll just grab 10. Quick ball, 50, cherish ball. What is this? Oh, right. It's a, yeah, I know these balls, yeah. It's level ball, 20, lure ball, 20. Alright, then, I... Uh, I didn't really need to get all those, but whatever. And there's more here. 20. I'm just going to get all the balls. 20. 20. I'm just buying all these balls just so I have them. I don't really need them. It's just so they're there. Some of these balls are good, though. Okay, I don't need these. Alright, we got all the balls. And we still have plenty of money, too. Alright, let's save the game. Oh, let's go in here. I don't think anything's changed in here. Pokemon Subsidia Salon. Oh, we're also now accepting new hires. If you have experience in the field and interest, they take an application form from the table. Where? Oh, here. All right, let's take this application. I don't know why exactly I need all these. But I guess I have them now, so I can't complain. Oh, there's a guy. Don't take this the wrong way, because I'm glad the city's looking better now, but on the real, it doesn't feel the same. We used to own these streets, now everything's wrapped up in order and perfection. No thanks. I don't know, man. I like it the way it is. It looks really nice. I mean, even this alleyway looks nicer. And it's just a fucking alleyway. The wild Pokemon are still the same, too. Yeah, but no matter what, you'll still never beat me. You're, li you're literally just lost. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, look. A scun tank. It seems they've added new Pokemon as well as all, had all the crappy old ones. Huh. I think I'm lost. Could you point me in the right direction? Um, actually, I don't remember where I was trying to go either. Where should I go? Alright, there's an item somewhere. In there. Revive. Thank you. Oh, these wild mon need to go. Stop. God. Oh, there's people there. I need to talk to them. Hey, what are you doing? This is our private spot, so please leave. Oh, could you not? As you can see, we're trying to have a moment here. Alright, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't want to be here anyway. Oh my god, why? Every fucking time I enter an alley, this seems to happen. Stop it. Right, well, I want to finish checking out the Obsidia Ward while I'm still here, but after this, I'll probably just uh, go go and see where the other two are. I'm a Devilman Salesman. Uh, oh, Devon. Oh, you uh, have some shit. And when I say shit, I mean that quite literally. I'm from Research and Development. If you have any concerns or the devoted customer, feel free to let me know. Okay. Uh, you, you better give me a fucking... Oh, I guess you don't have... Um... I thought you'd have an application like the Sylph Code did, but I guess not. Alright, since I'm here, I may as well buy some candies. Common candy, I have plenty of those. Whipped Dream, may as well get one, because the thing... The guys in the cafe wanted one. If I remember correctly. And Cotton Candy, um... Oh, actually, no, if I get ten of those, I'll be out of money. I'm not going to get that. I still have plenty. Alright, let's go up to uh, Old Spice Oda Blocker Body Wash and give them the whipped dream that they so desperately wanted. Here you go. There we go. Alright, now. Uh, I still have some places to go. Um, Obsidian Ward. Right, so the next... I need to go down by the slums area. Because there might be people down there. South Obsidia Ward. 
Sorry, I'm into the, sorry, I'm a little distracted. Okay, but it's more of a brisk run in order for him to keep up with it. Okay, so that you've still not changed. Um, you can take the slums out of the guy, but you can't take the guy out of the slums. Okay, even the slums look nicer, but they weren't. They didn't touch those apparently. Don't even look at me unless you're about to start laying bricks. This city's already full of pish posh folks, and I ain't got a care to left a finger for anyone who got less cash than care. Whatever, man. That made little sense to me. Oh, can can Glamazonia gl give me a fucking thing? They can. Give me. Yes, Glamazonia. I'm getting all these job applications, but I ain't fucking given them to anyone. M maybe the people on the streets complaining about how the city doesn't care when need them. Oh, there's a TM down there. That wasn't there before. Hello. It's easy just to stare at the sea out here. I forget there's so much work to do. Blah, blah. They keep saying South Obsidia is our next project. We'll get to it. Just be patient. Bro, South Obsidia been your next project since six next projects ago. I went down and helped out at Beryl at Lapis, but did they come down and help out here? Hell no, nah, bro. System's fucked. Okay. Well, it's looking nicer already to me, so... Might have to doubt your words a little there, but... I guess it doesn't matter really, does it? I mean, the place looks nice. And the slums don't really matter, do they? My mom used to worry about me going out alone, but not anymore. It's because I grew up. No, it's because the city's actually safe, you little boy. Of all the things I could have called him. <laughs> Growth mulch. Okay, I'm never using that. Who uses mulch? Like, who actually used that stuff? No, I want to talk to her. I think I really took this whole nature thing for granted before. Now that I've seen what it's like to have a peaceful area in the city, I want to protect it, but I don't think there's anything I can do. Okay. Okay, where is this item then? Down here somewhere, apparently. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's a wild Pokemon, not an item. And it's just a damn hoo hoo! Go away. You stupid bird. I can't even see... Oh, it's over here somewhere. She just straight up left the moment I went near her. Okay, where the fuck is this thing? Wild Mon. Need to go. Whoa. Goodbye. Right, where is it? Here. No. Where the fuck is it? Here? Where is it? It reckons... Oh, it must be on the table. I'm actually about to use a freaking repel. Even though there's no way near us. Well, actually, no, there's quite a bit more grass now. Not... I thought there was less, but no. Really, there's more, isn't there? Um, right, Where's my repels at? I'm bored of this. Super repels, where are you at, fam? Forgot to put a bunch of my items away too. Really should have done that. Um, super repel, there we go. I believe it's here. Pop rocks, cool. There's a kid. There's more Pokemon here lately than I thought there could be in the entire city. Think I can catch them all? No. <clears throat> There's an item. I think it's in that rock over here, actually. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. This city is so cool now, isn't it? It's like it keeps evolving. Damn right. Everyone's a responsibility to keep this city clean. That's what Adrian demonstrated. Yeah, I need to find Adrian, actually. I need to go down in a minute. Have you heard the rumors about Agate City? No. Really? They say it used to be part of a different region entirely. Oh, so what? Agate City's part of Wari? And I heard there's even a magic stone buried deep beneath it. As on, if only something like that could exist here. Okay, so what? Is this connected to Ore or something? Or or are they just mixing those up or what? I don't know. I couldn't say. Oh, that's the wasteland looking. Probably as shitty as ever, but ever. It's probably still as bad. Alright. Well, that guy's not saying anything different. Yeah, it seems to be busy and Wasteland hasn't changed at all. Alright. 
Maybe it hasn't, I just didn't look enough. But if we're just from first glance, it looks the same. I should be safe here, right? I was running from some strange guy. I think I lost him, but I kind of don't want to go home right now because I've run into him again. I wonder if there's somewhere else near that I could go. Well, I guess I can't suggest anywhere for you. Oh, look at this place. Boy. Residents only are allowed upstairs, but feel free to visit in the lobby. Oh, back so soon. Did you actually learn anything? Yes. We'll see about that. Grand rematch of the century. Battle of the ages and all that. Question one. How many individual train cars are there in the... What the fuck? I don't even remember meeting you. Alright, let's go with ten, I guess. Well, actually, no. I'm going to say seven. Let's go with seven. Out on the first try. It's not like those trains are going anywhere. Alright, well, I'll fuck you. I'll, I'll deal with you later, I guess. I moved here from Spinaltown when I heard the city was rebuilt, but I never imagined it could be this grandiose. You would be surprised. Oh, that's locked, okay. We've got our work cart for us now, it's safe to ship out again. The water may look clean, but there's still a lot of pollution in it and sick Pokemon suffering. Sometimes us to get out there and type loose ends, blah blah. Most recent reports suggest that the toxicity at the water level is still declining. Water treatment center alone is powerful, but there's no way it should make this difference since time. Whatever. New hypothesis. Pokemon must have woken up. Come back out or out of hiding, whatever the case may be. I bet they're working hard to clean the lake. Um, whatever. On a night like this, there's something surreal. I can look at the sky, the lake, the stars, and fleeting as they are, but I feel like it could slip away any second, like maybe it already has once before. You ever get that feeling, sort of like deja vu? This has already happened once, and what you see now is the result of someone's imagination. I'm not sure if I would like that or not. N okay, I can surf now, so I might be able to go in this lighthouse, finally. Locked. Nope, never mind. I feel like that place is going to be important later, though, just because we could interact with the door. Wait, can I surf across here now? I can! Oh, shit! I never expected to actually be able to surf along this water. That's cool. Oh, man. You smell that, kid? It smells like home. Alright, well, even though I could run all the way around, I'm actually going to surf over here to talk to this guy. <laughs> Say, so, do you think I'd have better luck over at Apophil or here? Then again, since it's all the same lake, maybe it doesn't make much difference. You damn straight right, dude. Oh, there's someone in here with a spoink. And that spoink has a white pearl on its head. Hang in there, spoink. I know it's tough, but we'll find your pearl yet. Oh, hi there. Whoops. I'm in a bit of a pickle right now. I lost this pearl. Without that pearl, spoinks get really, really tired. I gave it this thing for until we can find the real one, but I haven't had any luck all so far. I'll keep looking. Okay, I'm assuming I'm meant to find that. Oh, what's the deal with this? I want to go out there and help too. I'm so tired of sitting around. Take me with you. Alright, boys. Pull it together and haul out. Um, heck with the lake self. Want to eat some fish. Right. Smell that, kid? Uh, it's ready that already. Hey there, kid. I don't suppose you're interested in gourmet dining. I've got some fresh slowpoke tails here. And you better believe this stuff is rare. Uh, only live way in the north, even further than Nagate or Amatrain, so you know it's a delicacy. Can't sort of think of it. I haven't actually seen Slowpoke yet, have I? Okay, I did have that. But I don't anymore. Say, you think it's ethical to start fishing right after the environment recovers? You know what? I'm going to make a note of that, actually. Um, Slowpoke tail coral ward. Alright, where's my cursor? There it is. There we go. Maybe the Pokemon will need more time to recover. Nah, fishing's a lifestyle. Uh, you. Whatever. Oh, Adrian's here. Hello. Excuse me. I need you to sign this MX, Adrian. Uh, Mux? How, how do you say that? How do you even pronounce that? The waterway filter has been completed. How should we proceed? What should I do next? About these new regulations. Oh, it's G I just realized Zer Jim. Is it Zem? Zem? Zia? I, I, I don't know. I think it's Zia. Zia Jim has been fixed. Oh man, that's so cool. Z actually did it. I made the right choice choosing to move here when they were still rebuilding it. I was in barrel all my life before that went higher, but this has way more speed, alright? All of the warehouses are gone, actually. That's odd. They just straight up got rid of them. Oh, yeah, sure. Whoa, I just got back from the longest trip out on the lake in as long as I can remember. Hey, it's you. You've taken good care of Skitty. Make sure you feed it lots of berries. Where's your grandma? Oh, I finally got a job out on the lake, but it's hard work. Gotcha, dude. 
Right, I'm going to talk to Adrian then, since I'm here. Okay, document... Wait, oh right, I gave him a voice, didn't I? Okay, document the design maintenance procedures and draft a schedule for employees to check it. Public safety regulations, right? Get it online, print flyers, and have one of the volunteers post the ordinances throughout the city. Um... You are Steinsman, Crystal Street Complex 2C, am I remembering right? Yeah, yes, uh, we're still having the issue with the electricity. What, really? Someone was supposed to go by for that on Tuesday. Um, nobody showed up. Gracious. Okay, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you for telling me. I know it must have been a huge letdown to deal with that for so long. You finished with the place on Kingsbury? Yes, everything should be in ship shape up there now. You're an angel. Could you escort Mrs. Steinsman here to, f to Mr. Fine Silver at the Neo Circuit Power Plant? He's filling in for Julia at the moment and should be able to help her. There's your signature. Did you need anything else? That's all. I'll get this back to the office right away. Thank you, all of you, for your hard work. Please come find me if you have any problems. Deep breath. Everything is wonderful. And my apologies for making you wait, Vero. I hope you've been well. I understand you've been gone for a while, but look. This whole place. This is the city that I can be proud of. Even if it fell apart before, the pieces were always there. It just took someone to put them back together. With the help of the local gym leaders, students from Apophila and Onyx, and more volunteers than I could have ever hoped for, I think we've really made a miracle happen here. It was daunting. No, in the beginning, I'd almost say nightmarish. But one doesn't make this happen with announcements and inspirational speeches alone. I started one house at a time, taking a personal interest in each crack and story within its walls. And from teaching others to do the same in return, everything has erupted upwards into some kind of, dre kind of dream. But we're not done yet. Not even close. That's enough, though. You came to see me for a reason, I assume. Ame's calling for me. Understood. Please go on ahead. I have a couple more things to finish, but I'll be right there. Can I go in your gym? I can. And there is a uh, mist in here. It also seems like there's not really a puzzle in here. <coughs> oh, hello. Oh, hi there. Don't mind me, trainer. Uh, mix aid. Uh, I, I please tell me how to say that. <laughs> Adrian hired me on as a gardener for this little old place. I've got a bit more work to do, but I'll be sure to clear out of the way before any battles fire up. Cool, cool. All right. So I'm done in the coral ward. Now, I have been going on for a while, so I really should end it, but I want to find Victoria before I do that, because all I've really been doing is talking to people, and I've not actually made that much progress. Um, I'm going to check out the Onyx Ward first, just because it's nearby, and so I don't have to come all the way back here. So let's go up here first. Oh, th right, people. T everyone says I'm broke because I keep spending all my money on small things. But isn't that just an excuse for the fact that the cost of living is way too high? The city renovation is great and all, but it sure hasn't helped that problem. Alright. Just stop spending, though. Hey, old trainer. City Watch is on the lookout for trouble. Cool, cool. I think I went in here, too. That's Silk Co. So, I need to go here. Meganium? Huh. I, I don't understand. Why is this shop run by a Meganium? What? How does she manage business? How does she greet customers? Why is this a thing? I don't get it, but it's probably rude to ask. What the fuck? Ah, oh, it's actually talking to me? What? <laughs> Alright, well I needed one of these, so this works out. Um, I think I needed one of these too. Wow. That's so... Why is a Meganium running a shop? Hello? What the fuck? Alright, I can go to the ninth floor, maybe even the 10th now, so I'm going to go to check out the ninth floor. Alright, what's here? Ever since I hustled to come here by mistake, I've found a really great passion for helping people, and there's no better time to do it, what with the city's reconstruction. Guess who patched up this place's foundation? That's right, looking at him. Yeah, okay. What? Are the TMs really still higher up? That's no fair. <coughs> yeah, I think they're not even on floor 10 either. Let's see what you've got. Uh, you got all these stones. I don't need any of them, though. And what about here? What do you have? Link stone, ultra potion, PP up, upgrade, prism scale, oval stone, amplified rock, dream eater. Alright, TM. So I'm obligated to get that, but that's fucking useless to me. Now, it's floor 10. 
floor turn. Let's check this out. Rare berries. Ooh. I like the sound of that, actually. Not the worst selection, but they do keep the best stuff for the penthouse. I think there's two more floors, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I can buy hyper potions. All right, give me. Actually, wait. No, I should probably just get 20. Because I need some full restores. Okay, I'm pretty much out of money now, but I might be able to sell some things. Two stardust. Three star piece. Right, is there anything down here I can sell? You know what? I'm going to sell my things and I'll be back in a second. Alright. So I have ten full restores, right? Yeah, so I might get some more revives. Actually, I'll get 20. I want to try and buy revives instead of cotton candy because they're a lot cheaper. So I'm going to need some of those. Right, lychee. Oh, these are good. These are good. Ooh. Lumberry. I've been waiting for that. Oh, God. Oh, man. Some of these are really good. Okay, give me that. Row app. Um, give me, give me like five of these. Uh, racist. I don't know what are these would help. I'll get lychee berry. I'll get ganlon berry. Oh, uh, you know what? They'll all help. I'll just, I'll just keep one of each for now, just in case I feel like I need them for a battle. Oh man, I've been waiting for those. All right, time to check out the Onyx Ward. <clears throat> There's probably a bunch of differences about this place. Hello. Some of the kids have been talking about you quite a lot, haven't they? Alright. Alright, the arcade might have some differences. Keep saying you're the one safe and reborn. Walloping Ferns Oss, yeah. That was me. That was me. There's a lot of people in here now. We need sight on the Earl. Stop feeding you, noob. Hey, right. Game's pretty fun. Hell, please. Oh, I got 45 coins. Not bad. Did I steal that? <laughs> I've been playing for days straight and I'm tired of it. But what else is there to do? Big money. Why not pay out? Never too old for games. Oh, thanks, man. I'm finding all these random coins. I'm getting so many coins. What the fuck? Oh yeah, you can uh, give me free shit, can't you? Alright, give me shit. Didn't get a match. Wow, what a bitch. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was an accident, but fuck. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, what can I get? Alright, there's three TMs in here. Substitute could be good, but the other two aren't really beneficial to me. Um, Slugman, Nidoran, and Shinx are still all that are in here. Well, I don't know if we can find Shinx or Nidoran elsewhere, but I know we can find Slugma, so buying that's definitely not worth it. Alright, let's see. Uh, Trophy Garden probably looks the same. We're going to have a rematch someday. I'll catch up to you, just probably not when I'm in school. Alright. Goes up to the garden. Um. Oh, I didn't really read that, but I don't care. Let's see what Trophy Garden looks like. I have to check everything out because it's all. N oh wow! Ooh, this is nice. This didn't really need changing, but wow, it actually looks a lot better than it used to. Honestly, I'm not even sure if uh, all this redesign was part of the plan for the for the game from the very beginning, or if Arme just felt like doing this because uh, she thought that it'd be nice to do. But either way, this looks really fucking good. Can I help you in your grand quest to restore the region? Oh, give me that. Yeah, mate. You're helping the great pharaoh. Damn right you are. Oh. Yeah, boy. I'm surprised people know me, though. It feels nice to be recognized. What what they do to get so popular all of a sudden? What about me? You did fuck all, mate. I am Vero. Do you want to fight? <laughs> Alright, I'm not... Oh, you look new. Headmaster Florinia should be back soon, yes? Although her administrative duties at the school have been covered, the city council is waiting on several updates. She wanted to undertake a line share of resource management, account blah, 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 blah. Between that and leading students in community service, blah, 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 blah. Blah blah. What the fuck was he on about? <laughs> yeah, normally I read all this stuff, but it's just like there's so much to read that I'm just trying to keep an eye out for the important things. You know? 
Oh, I can still read all their diaries, though. That's cool. Uh, 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 uh. Is anyone even here? Oh, there's doors here. Those weren't there before, either. Hello. Jim is close while Florinia's away. There's a lot I want to... I think, to think I was going to confess before this all happened. Would you be willing to do me a favor? Take this and deliver it with a note for me. I was spent all night making it. Sweetheart. My crush usually hangs out around the third floor. Please convey my feeling. Third floor? I thought there was only two. Huh? I thought there was only two floors. What the fuck? There's a third? Since when? Oh, where, where is he then? Listen, I think you're really cool, and um, I w and I was just um, wondering if you wanted to maybe grab out sometime. I mean, grab a bike, go out. Damn it! I think this is the guy, isn't it? No, never mind. Well, whoever it is won't be in their room. Um, third floor? There is no third floor. What the fuck? Is it you? Stupid arcades. What? Huh? Who? Oh, oh, okay. I had to approach him from the side wall. <laughs> hey. They don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry about that. Oh, he's a teacher. I'll go get a janitor. Huh. Alright, let's go in here then. Oh, wait. That means the third floor. Oh, this is the third floor. Okay. Oh, don't tell me she's crushing on the janitor now. Okay, one more time. Someone's contemporarily create field effects. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ha, huh, what's this? Is This is from that girl I see. I had no idea she felt this way. Well, that's flattering, but I guess I'll have to go down and be straight with her later. Oh, maybe that's a poor choice of words. Oh, wow. She's not gay. Okay. Anyway, you should hang on to the chocolate. Be rude if I ate it and then let her down. All right. Well, I'll go talk to her and let her know how you feel then, hopefully. Oh, if I can. If I can't, then whatever. Not my problemo. I did what I had to do, and I got chocolate for it. And I like chocolate, so I can't complain. Have you given it to them yet? Actually, don't tell me what they say. I want to hear it. All right. Good, 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 good. Alrighty, righty, righty. Let's get out of here then. Um, I don't think I'm gonna check out the other wards for now. I might just do that in my own time. Um, I'm not sure. What have I explored? I've explored Opal, Obsidia, uh, Coral, and Lapis. No, not Lapis, Onyx. So what does that leave? The Lapis Ward, the Beryl Ward, the Jasper Ward, and the Peridot Ward. Okay, you know what? I know this has been a whole lot of nothing. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. And I'm just going to carry on talking to everyone in the next episode as well. So that might end up being a whole lot of nothing too. I'm not sure yet. But hopefully in the next episode, I will find Victoria. And I'll get a some more shit. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then please give the video a like rating to show your support. Uh, be sure to leave a comment, leaving tips, suggestions, opinions, and letting me know if uh, there's any event Pokemon I've missed and why they are. And be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon Reborn content, as well as more content like this. Of course, I'll make more progress, but still. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then.